In this video I've already figured out my drum kit, so now I'm going to go to a piano and figure out an interesting chord progression. Under the wrench, top right, I can choose a key. I'm choosing E minor because I like the sound of it, but I can quickly change to any other key that I like, major or minor. Tapping outside of the wrench will get me, double tap, will get me to the piano. Now I can either choose these chord progressions this way, higher and lower, just bass notes, or I can choose an auto pattern. Bottom notes, high notes. So I'm going to Pick the tonic, that's E minor, that I chose before, and try each pattern to listen to it, and choose one I like to start with. I like one and four. So I'm going to start with one, and for my next section, I might choose four. So the next step is to experiment. What do I like the sounds of? I'm looking for eight bars. I can either do one pattern of four bars twice. So choosing a bar, and then a second bar with a new chord, third bar and fourth bar, and then repeat it, or a variation. Or I can choose two bars of one chord, two bars of another chord. For now, I'm going to play around with it and find a combination that I like. Then I'm going to write it down so I can remember it. So if I'm going this way, usually, in that direction. The other direction will sometimes work, or so the pattern for this often doesn't have to be, but works very well starting from the left and moving towards the tonic. start here and move to the right. Both work. It's possible to go the other direction from right to left, but it doesn't always work as easily. You can also skip. Depends what you like and depends what you find interesting. So I've played around with it and I've chosen to do A minor to A minor a couple of times. And I also like the B minor and major. So here's my progression. repeated it. <laughs> 